The telegram became the harbinger of good and bad news for many generations of Indians for the last century or so. Once the fastest means of communication for millions of people, the end of the humble telegram service left behind a string of happy and bitter memories for people across the country. A large number of people, many of them youngsters and first-timers, turned up at the telegram centers in the capital and sent a message to their loved ones on the last day of the service. My grandfather is 80 years old. I was very proud of him. I would like to send him to him a telegram. But his telegram is not in my hands. But still, the experience was good. We thought we would give him a telegram. Because of it, it is connected to modern technology. So, maybe in those areas where there are no telecom towers, where there are no internet services, there has been a problem for people. So, that's what we are going to do. Nudged out by technology, SMS, emails, mobile phones, the iconic service gradually faded into oblivion with less and less people taking recourse to it. People who support it say Telegram still plays an important role in far-flung places of country. So, our rural areas are today. Today, people are like who don't know about SMS and facts. They don't have any support. But the power of the power was not able to go to the power. So, I don't think that this is a good decision. Officials at the Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited decided to stop the telegram services owing to considerable losses. But it is not only because of the advent of SMS, fax, emails and smartphones that the service has been called off. The charge for the telegram is far less than the cost of sending them. This is a development process. I don't believe that it is a sentiment that it is 160 years old. पुराना ये हमारा एसोसिएशन है इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से, लेकिन ये डेवलपमेंट का प्रोसेस मानता हूँ मैं इसे। The first experimental electric telegraph line was started between Kolkata and Diamond Harbour in 1850. In 1854, the service was made available to the public. To keep pace with the technology, it eventually became a bay-based telegraph mailing service which used emails to instantly convey message to the other end. But it could not keep up and government finally decided to shut down this service from 14th of July 2013. With Bureau Inputs, Ritu Burma's report, DD News.